Translation. He was going to propose to me, bring him back, bring him back. <laughs> but I was so young. How could I understand this woman who wanted to have a family? But then me, with my nose and my black hair, I felt I wasn't beautiful enough to be an actress. And I had to do something more serious, right? So I got my master's degree in chemical engineering with honors. But then I got pregnant. And then the whole country collapsed, USSR. <laughs> and then I got baptized because he asked me to mar get married in church. And nobody was baptized back then in USSR. So I got baptized. And as we were walking in this circle, and it was all adults and those white gowns, I felt dizzy. And I was kind of dizzy. And this lady rushed to me and she said, are you OK? What's happening? And I was kind of scared because I was pregnant. And I was not married. But I was getting baptized. I couldn't lie to her, right? So I said, I am pregnant. And she said, it's OK. It's good. I was like, oh my gosh, good thing. They didn't kick me out. And they gave me a cross. And I really liked it. All of a sudden, I had something to believe in. And I prayed. But this marriage? It really didn't work out. It was really bad. And I left him because that's what I wanted to do. And I took this cross and I threw it as far away as possible because I thought they wanted me to stay, be married. I got married in church. That's not what I wanted to do. And then I moved to America. And that made me start anew. And like a baby, I had to learn to speak again. And one more time, I was able to ask myself, what do I want to be? And I decided computer programmer. That's what my mom and stepdad did. That sounded reasonable. And I liked it. But yet, sometimes they would just tell me what to do. I didn't like that. And then at one point, all I wanted to do was to be a good mother. So I went and I started practicing yoga because I just wanted to be a little bit less crazy. And then I became a yoga teacher and a Reiki master. And I taught Reiki yoga in the studio on top of a sunset bar. Just imagine Reiki, yoga, sun setting into the ocean, and this very loud music out of the sunset bar. Guns and roses, counting crows. It was gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> and yet I loved it. Because with yoga and Reiki and this Rumi, and with Marian Bills, I learned to talk to the universe. And I realized what the universe was telling me was, what do you want?
one of you. And I said, what do I want? I want a meaningful job. Okay, Toastmasters. And I worked for Toastmasters for two and a half years. You did a good job. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then the universe said, but what do you really want? Well, I want to love big. And the universe said, okay, you have to meditate. Really? And it worked. I met him on a meditation hour. What else do you want? Butterflies? Seriously. <laughs> okay, it worked for Nabokov. The Lalita <laughs> offer? Yes. And you are beautiful. Really? Seriously? You know what? I don't even know how to process this. But it's already yellow. Since I have you here, maybe you could say something. But it's already yellow. Come on, we're running out of time. <laughs>